This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my. I'm lost without you. This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence. This is my daily bread. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me, and I. Before you, and I, I'm lost without you. Before you, and I, I'm lost without you. I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so yeah, that song. Good song. Never did it before. Seemed appropriate. You know, talking about the scriptures authority in our life life lives it was it was the thing of for me when i think when i hear that song there's a bit of poetry in it about you know this is the air i breathe your holy presence living within me a degree of poetry to say that you know i can't live without the spirit of god in my life cuz technically technically we can and anybody who's not saved does but there is a literal parallel that it is it is very true cuz spiritually we cannot we're not alive without the spirit of god we haven't been regenerated without our relationship with god but also in a sort of poetic sense 
the word, God's words, God speaking to us, and Jesus being the word of God and the Bible, being our daily bread, it doesn't need to be, <laughs> but it should be, and technically it is, as a believer specifically, because if we've surrendered our life to Christ, if we've, if we're now a child of God, if you love me, obey my commands. How do you know what the commands are? It says it in his word. If you want to be my disciples, you must deny yourselves, pick up your cross and follow me. Jesus speaking. But we don't have to. God doesn't force us to do what he wants, though... As our father, he disciplines the son in whom he delights. So he never lets his children sin successfully, as it's been said. So anything that I do, which we've talked about before, anything that I do, thoughts, actions, words, feelings, can be filtered through God's word, can be... Um, done in spirit in with a filling of the holy spirit and it can also be not done that way and it's in in those moments of course that you come to realize that you're lost without him and it makes us desperate for him it's the other way around in the song but same thing if i were to say that Anything else in my life could take authority over the Bible, over God's word, over the principles in scripture, then, then that means that God is not God. And if God is God, and he's the one that literally gives us breath, he's the one that literally gave our spirit life, if he's the one that literally shows us what's right and what's good and what's uh, beneficial, a uh, wise way to live, then making God not God will make things turn out lost, will make things turn out like the world, really, because in the world, God is not God. God is dead, right? So it only makes sense that Every day, daily bread, my very breath, has to be found in him, in God, in, in God being God. And not me, not my emotions, not the majority rule, not the government, not anything. Though part of scripture is that we obey the authorities put over us and that our emotions are God-given things, and they can, uh, to a degree, give us a reference point for things. He does speak to us in uh, intangible ways sometimes, but it's all filtered through our, our submission to men, authorities, employers, is, is, um, stays within scriptural parameters. Because God is still, to us, is still God. And again, so this is all just like a preface, really, for next week. It's just the same gist. Scripture is the authority. And then we're going to get into James next week. And I, I never intended for this to be some crazy profound thing. The song was just in my head this morning. And it, the, the theme continues. So next week we'll see where it we'll see where it goes, but and it's this this correlated with some other uh, conversations I've been having and sermons I've been hearing. Our relationship with God is entirely a, an instantaneous change. the The miracle of the soul happens in a moment, 
getting saved, being regenerated, being given life, becoming a child of God. And that's that. But to grow in doing the right thing, to grow in hearing from God, the making of a saint is a lifetime process. And it's and it just goes back to the word. We knew what salvation was because it was revealed in Jesus. It was revealed in the word. And we know what proper living is, day by day stuff, because it's revealed in God's word, in who Jesus was. So yeah, I, I guess that's about it. And we've reached our quota, our 13 minute average ish at this point but yeah so i think that's about it and next week we're going to start james which i will be studying for this week yeah this week yeah. <laughs> so yeah and uh I've, i'll see you guys then